What's happening? I am about to show you how to turn your DJ live stream into a full on VJ live stream. Stick around. Let's go. What's happening, y'all? This is Jason from Overcast TV, and today I am here to show you how to take uh, a basic video like this, where you are sitting with your camera and a green screen in front of a background, and get a little bit more involved where you're kind of in the scene. So this can be accomplished a number of ways. You can use videos that have uh, alpha channel backgrounds or through some clever usage of the filters right here within OBS, you can combine these layers and stack MP4s or things that don't have a transparent background uh, in create these multiple layers. So I'll show you how. Before it gets a little crazy, since we're not live streaming right now and uh, there is no DJ equipment here, I'll uh, cool out the background. But um, this technique, like I said, can be applied on any number of videos. You can do it on uh, things that you find anywhere online. But for this instance, I am going to be using one of the packs from uh, Overcast TV just because I purpose built them to make this easy for you. So the first scene that we're going to add is going to be called Cutting Shapes 1 because Cutting Shapes is the name of the pack. Click OK. And then go into your sources and click plus. Go to Add Media Source. And then we'll call this Cutting Shapes Line Background. Click Loop. Close File when inactive. Then go over to Browse. Navigate to where you've got your files and then go into the pack. For these, I have all of them separated out into MP4s and MOVs. So the first thing I want to do is get this MP4 background called Lines BG. Click Open and say OK. It is a 4K file, so I do need to scale it down to fit this 1920 by 1080 canvas, which can be done simply by grabbing the top left corner and uh, dragging it down. And then once you have it fitting into the canvas, grab the bottom right corner and it will just kind of snap into place then go ahead and lock the layer. Next thing you do, go back down into your sources and click plus at another media source. And here we're going to call it cutting shapes, polygon. Same thing here, click loop, close file when inactive, go to browse, and then we're gonna go down to the MOV files and choose the polygon. Now this is a 4K file, but given the size of it, uh, you can choose to just drag it over um, if you don't want to scale it down. So we'll do that for this instance just to make this tutorial go a little bit quicker. So I'll go ahead and lock this layer. And now we've already got our one layer. The next thing we want to do, go back over to our scenes, click plus in the bottom left corner and call this cutting shapes two. Here we're going to repeat the process, adding a media source. We'll call this background combo. We'll call it combo one since that's taken. <laughs> click loop, close file when inactive, browse and choose the combo background. I'll say OK, and then again, repeat the scaling process. Great. Now we've got that in place. I'm going to go ahead and go down to add another media source. But this time, I'm going to stack one of the MP4 layers on top. Following the same process overall, browsing for the file. And then we'll go ahead and choose text to open it, say OK. And again, we will have to repeat the scaling process. Now, as you can see, this does have a, a fully opaque background. OBS has some internal filters that make this no problem at all. So once you've got it scaled and locked, right click it, go to your filters. In your effects filters panel, click the plus and apply a Luma key. Tell it OK. And drag your minimum up to about 0.1. We'll go to 0.12. You move it out of the way and look at it as it overlays. Looks like it still has a little bit of a rough black edge. So we can crank that up a little bit more and then turn the smoothing up just a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And then we're going to proceed to make our next layer. To do this, I could either right click and copy both of these, or I can just go over here and duplicate the layer. We'll call this one Cutting Shapes 3. I'm going to go ahead and add one more media source. So just repeat the adding process there. We're going to find the one called Circles. Open that. Again, repeat the scaling process. And then since you've already got a Luma filter that's pretty well set. You can go back, right click it, select it, right click the filter, copy that, close out of here, go back to your circles layer, right click it, go to the filters there, right click in the effect filters area and paste that filter on. Look at that. Just like that, you've already got that alpha channel and now you've got three layers. So from here, if you want to say add a camera, you can go back to your original layer here. We'll copy the camera this time.
and paste it right in. Now we can reset the order and you can even move these things around. So I'll lock the camera and unlock the top layer. Maybe I want to move this down. You can get pretty creative with it. Just like that, you've got multiple layers and multiple scenes that you can show off to your audience to give them a cooler overall live streaming experience. So I hope this was super helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, click the little bell notification so you do know when we drop more videos. I'll be updating you guys when I put out new packs, when I've got uh, new tutorial videos up for you. And of course, if there's anything you want a tutorial on in OBS or how to make visuals for your live streams, drop me a comment below and let me know. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Again, this is Jason from Overcast TV. We'll see you next time. I'll see you online.